Welcome. I am Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of the Super Mario Brothers. Us at Nintendo would like to extend our gratitude for your support in helping make the Super Mario Bros. movie a worldwide success. It's my pleasure to officially announce that the next movie we will be bringing to you is an adaptation of our amazing crossover series, Super Smash Bros. I'm sure you all want to know who will be bringing these characters to life. I'm happy to say that we have the full cast selected and ready to announce today. So, let's get started. Chris Pratt as Mario and Charlie Day as Luigi helped Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach save the Mushroom Kingdom from Jack Black in the Super Mario Bros. movie that came out earlier this year. If you stayed to the end of the movie, you might have seen a tease at a new character. That's right, Mario's faithful steed, Yoshi, who we are proud to announce will be played by experienced voice actor Josh Gad. The greedy Wario will also be joining the scene, being brought to life by famous comedian Burt Kreischer. Wow, look at him. If there was ever someone born to play this part, it was clearly Burt. Seth Rogen did a great job of playing Donkey Kong in the Super Mario Bros. movie, and fans with a keen eye would have spied Diddy Kong in the film as well. Diddy Kong will be joining our cast as a full character in the Smash Bros. movie, being voiced by Jonah Hill. The Mushroom and Kong Kingdom are amazing settings, but of course, to truly tell a Super Smash Bros. story, we'll need to explore some new worlds as well. The kingdom of Hyrule is protected by the one and only Link, and this silent hero has finally found his voice, with Timothy Chalamet playing adult Link and relative newcomer Christian Convroy playing young Link. You may recognize Christian from one of my favorite movies of this year, Cocaine Bear. The Triforce of Wisdom will be held by the princess of Hyrule herself, Zelda. We can't wait for everyone to hear this regal character brought to life by the fantastic Emma Watson. Of course, the Demon King himself, Ganon, will be appearing as well. He will be voiced by the extremely talented Benedict Cumberbatch. Galactic bounty hunter Samus Aran will also be joining the battle and will be voiced by an actress with experience traveling through the stars and fighting evil, Brie Larson. When casting the legendary pilot Fox McCloud, only one person came to mind. That's right the legendary Maverick himself, Tom Cruise. He'll be joined by the Moody Falco, being played by Jared Leto, one of the coolest of all the actors in Hollywood. One of the many foes these heroes will find themselves dogfighting against will be the fearsome Wolf O'Donnell. For this character, we wanted to find someone truly detestable. I'm happy to say that us at Nintendo and our partners at Illumination both agreed that only James Corden could fill these shoes. Of course, an R-Wing isn't the only way to travel through the stars. For Kirby, we wanted to find a voice that would accurately convey his kind personality, while still being strong enough to portray one of the most powerful heroes in our Nintendo family. That's why John Cena was the only person we approached for this role. Lucky for us, he said yes. Of course, there is only one actor with enough personality to play Kirby's arch-enemy, King DDD. That's right. The hierarchy of power in the Nintendo universe is about to change, with Dwayne Johnson stepping into these royal shoes. For the dark and mysterious Meta Knight, we went with the dark and mysterious Dark Knight himself, Christian Bale. We can't wait to see what he gets up to. So, what do you think so far? Pretty cool, huh? We're just getting started. I'm happy to announce we will be having a few stars returning to the roles that they have made famous in their own solo movies. Ben Schwartz will be returning into the role of Sonic the Hedgehog. Once Sega heard we were doing Super Smash Bros. the movie, they practically threw him at us. And though Pokemon are known for only saying their names, we will be having Ryan Reynolds return as Pikachu to be the voice other Pokemon hear when talking to him. Ha! Huh, what a clever idea! But what about the other Pokemon featured in the Super Smash Bros. series? Don't worry, some of them will be along for the adventure too. Just like in the game, the Super Smash Bros. movie will feature a Pokemon trainer. With the version of this character presented in the movie, we really wanted to focus on the comedy that everyone remembers from Pokemon. That's why to us, Adam Sandler seemed like the perfect Pokemon trainer. He won't be alone in bringing us the laughs though. 
He's joined by Kevin James as Charizard, Chris Rock as Ivasaur, and David Spade as Squirtle. We know these Pokemon will be cracking everyone up. Of course, we will see other Pokemon as well, including the master of fighting, Lucario. Whoa, Keanu Reeves will be playing this part. We've heard the response to some of the musical choices we made during the Super Mario Bros. movie, and we will be making a few changes for our next film. The biggest of these changes is the inclusion of full-blown musical numbers, one of which will be led by the microphone-wielding Jigglypuff, whose lovely singing voice will be brought to life by none other than Lin-Manuel Miranda, and rounding out the Pokemon portion of the cast will be the ominous Mewtwo. This Pokemon is known for his intelligence as well as his physical strength. Obviously, Joe Rogan perfectly fits that mold, and we're happy to say that he has agreed to take on the part. Things are really heating up now. It's getting almost as hot in here as a Falcon Punch. That's right. We will finally get a chance to see the driving skills of Captain Falcon in a motion picture. And who better to play him than Vin Diesel? And the heat I'm feeling is also coming from the PK fire attacks of Ness and Lucas from the Earthbound series. These characters will be played by Noah Schnapp and Gat Matarazzo from the popular Netflix series Stranger Things. And they'll be joined by Marth, Roy, and Ike from the Fire Emblem series as well. See? I told you things were getting hot in here. These three will be portrayed by Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and Tobey Maguire. We loved their chemistry in the new Spider-Man movie and thought it would be a perfect addition to our film. I'm not sure who is playing which character. To be honest, I'm not really that into Fire Emblem. I'm mostly only interested in characters I helped create. For instance, this one. Captain Olimar from Pikmin. We're truly honored to have Pedro Pascal once again putting on a helmet to play a spaceman who travels around with cute little creatures who do all of the heavy lifting. We do have one more crossover character to mention today, and that is the special operative soldier, Solid Snake. We wanted to make sure and get this character right, because we know his voice is truly iconic. So, for the first time ever, we brought the voice actor in from the game. That's right, Kiefer Sutherland, the voice of Snake in Metal Gear Solid 5, will be joining our cast. The Angelic Pit will be played by the equally angelic Ryan Gosling. Rob, the robotic operating buddy, will be brought to life by Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. And the Ice Climbers, Popo and Nana, will both be voiced by Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. And rounding out our cast of heroes is none other than Mr. Game & Watch, who will be played by Kevin Hart, because contractually, he has to be in this movie. And that leaves just one final announcement. The voice of the villain all of these characters will be going up against. The ultimate evil, Master Hand. This one was really a no-brainer. We went with Josh Brolin. That's right, Thanos himself will be playing Master Hand. Wow, that's a lot of news. So I think we'll finish here. We can't wait to hear all of your thoughts. I'm sure that you will think all of our choices are very good. Thank you for joining us, and we will be sharing more news very soon.